it is simply being aware that changes the game for real sometimes we are so within ourselves within our mind and there are so many unnecessary subconscious mind blocks that have been created either because of the past experiences and trauma that we faced or simply created by yourself because of our anxiety that we are truly not even able to recognize the opportunities universe has sent our way and even if it is right in front of us sometimes you are not even able to see it recognize it like we legit manifested this blessing and it's right here in front of our face humko samajh hi nahi raha dikh hi nahi raha hi main naam hai aditi aap sun rahe ho kai pan aditi this is march marathon roz naya episode upload hoga 7 pm indian standard time i love talking to you guys i love hanging out with you guys let's keep talking about awareness today the first time reality hit me It was the day I moved to the US. I was 22. I knew... So, this self-awareness was around food. Both of my examples are around food and how much I took food for granted in a way. Like, fuck. Like, I lived like a man until 22 where, you know, I used to get up, get ready and my mom was kind enough to make food for me and I had to just sit down in the kitchen and she would give me the food and I would eat and I would leave for the college and that was like the morning routine ideally for me I recalled all of this while breaking down sitting inside a hotel bedroom crying my eyes out of how much I took that for granted and how now I had to suddenly become an adult and do all of this myself and nobody was coming to do that for me like shit got just so real for me <laughs> I manifested moving to the US but what I did not realize was the work that it took to be there and to survive there the awareness that hit me at that moment was unreal unreal like i was a spoiled kid whose mom made food for her until 22 or maybe i guess this is how it has always been for all of us i don't know maybe it is maybe it it is not i don't know the second core memory was again around food i was three quarter way into my journey in the us and one week and i actually again broke down <laughs> it wasn't because of the lack of food but it was because i could not afford to buy an indian meal at a restaurant the meal was around a good indian meal is around 13 to 15 dollars just one meal i realized how silly i felt because food was never something that was hard to get for me and that too because i lacked money of course i was on a budget pretty tight budget when i was in the us and i was not even earning and i simply like I knew ki if I wasn't currently in India I can simply go out willy-nilly blow shit ton of money eat pani puri buy sandwiches buy a cold drink drink cold coffee eat my heart out but I missed like I genuinely missed food being cheap and accessible I'm not a chart food fanatic but the fact that I wasn't able to go out and just eat food just was just heartbreaking for me to be able to even afford to buy food yeah it was just heartbreaking like till date till this date I am so self aware about this and so every time I sit down to eat a meal a gratitude from my heart comes in like it just is such a old fashioned thing like I know my nani my grandma whenever whenever she sits down to eat a meal she always remembers her god and before she starts eating and she's like grateful and thankful but this time around i guess i truly understood and it hit me so hard that after that every time i sat down to eat i just said my grace yeah i just had to sit down just say thank you like like is just being self aware ki oh shit like i have food like a lot of people don't even have that and with the current world global climate that's going on around that's just it just sucks right so you just have to be grateful for what you have at this point in time and just be aware about it like i wish i had an opportunity i told myself i wished i had an opportunity to live in mumbai before i moved abroad so i could appreciate the life and that it would toughen me up and i would have eaten a lot of food before moving right moving abroad so lo and behold i moved back to mumbai i knew mumbai would toughen me up like a bitch and so here i am <laughs> uh, i may or may not be a bitch depending upon who's listening but uh, yeah mumbai will harden you like a rock 
if it has not move <laughs> move so now here i was questioning what is self awareness what is awareness in general internet defines awareness as knowledge or perception of a situation or a fact self awareness ka definition bola hai the ability to focus on yourself and how your actions thoughts emotions do or don't align with your internal standards that you set for yourself so hum kaun hai hum kya hai hamara zarurat kya hai just being aware the inner knowing is self awareness you know over time awareness has become such a key factor in appreciating and living my best life especially when i'm down the dump or when just i'm not harmonically harmonically feeling my best it is when the gratitude comes out ki bhai oh my god i have a lot this is a lot a lot of people are not even getting this much what i'm getting and that is where truly being self aware and gratitude comes from like i wasn't always like this and you know this is why people keep saying expose yourself to more experiences travel more look at how people are sustaining look at how people are surviving you have to look at the people who are above you and who are below you and who are at your level and understand ki there's so many people who don't even appreciate or or are not even aware about how much they already have right when we are self aware we have this growth mindset ki people who are you know they, they don't understand but people who are self aware don't take things personally and more likely to view it as an opportunity agar koi feedback deta hai to wo personally nahi lenge wo aise dekhenge ki yaar ye opportunity hai grow hone ke liye kuch improve karne ke liye how can we become better humans so when we are self aware we are better able to recognize our own emotions how they impact our behavior and our relationships this can help us to regulate our emotions more effectively and to approach challenges and difficulties with more positive and productive mindset right so self awareness can also help us build stronger relationship with both within like in our personal and professional circles when we are self aware we are better able to understand ki how apna behavior apna action impact kar raha hai dusre ke life mein and hum kaise adjust kar sakte hai hamara approach to get better at it right this can lead to you know more effective communication better collaboration ho sakta hai logo ke sath stronger trust ban sakta hai ek dusre ke beech mein respectfully hum ek dusre ko aur respect kar sakte hai and this is of course applicable to both personal life mein professional life mein self awareness bol rahi hu makes us all a better human better you leader in the society while we might not agree to all of uh, whatever we have or maybe some people don't agree with who you've become or who you are or maybe they simply feel jealous towards you you honestly have to try to do your best and keep moving right that's all we can do just be aware ki hum ye hai aur ye hamara truth hai and to live with your truth every single day and to become a better human right yeah i wish for all of us to have room for growth and flexibility in our life as we grow older Yeah. Again, thanks for hanging out with me. I love and appreciate your time. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye.